That is so gonna bother me. Did he say something about it? He might have, and I wasn't paying attention. I don't Audio think so, though. Phil Wilson, medical technician, Delta Labs, October 20th, 2145. Today, I witnessed the third test of the teleporter in the three weeks that I've been here. Volunteers are becoming harder and harder to come by, and it isn't difficult to see why. They all come back screaming like loons about demons, pools of blood, real fire and brimstone stuff. At first, I wasn't paying much attention, just doing my job, but the last was Robert hmm. Clayton. No, I met him my first day here. This guy chews up rocks and spits out gravel as tough as they come. Am I stuck now? Having to sedate him and drag his drooling body to the isolation, it's really freaked me out. There we go. I'm going to put him for a transfer as soon as I'm able. Mm, no, he didn't. Supposed to help me out here, Phil Wilson, medical technician, if that is your real name. Dang it. Unless it was like on the elevator. Gets to my face anymore, which is good. Are you still alive? You are still alive. Excellent. Holy crap! Now we'll get the teleporter working again. And you don't have much time. You're going to need to teleport across the containment chamber. It's the only way through this part of the complex. Head into the chamber and initiate the sequence on the machine. I'll take care of the rest. I'm not going with you. Good luck. But before you go, I want you to take something. It's a journal I made about the experiments. Uh, those things. It's all there. It'll explain everything. Get it to someone so this never happens again. Until the sequel. Standing. 
was proud to be associated with such an amazing project and someone as talented as Dr. Petruger. We noticed early on, well, probably before we had completed maybe a dozen successful tests, that there was a variable delay during the teleportation. The objects are broken down at the quantum level, transported, and then reassembled. Each stage of the process should have been instantaneous, but it, it wasn't. And we didn't know why. We sent a video drone through and were shocked at the images it sent back. Just a few frames of video right before the drone came back through showed what appeared to be several sets of eyes looking directly at the probe. We had just found a living, breathing creature that was not human. But Truger immediately sent out a request for volunteers. He specifically wanted UAC security force members because he wanted to capture one of these creatures. I've made a lot of mistakes, but I am most ashamed of my involvement during the next phase. To get medical clearance to send human subjects through the device, I... I doctored up several of our reports to indicate that we had performed living tissue experiments. I did not regret it at the time, but a few days later, when our third test subject came back, he was chewing off his own fingers. Yeah. It seemed he was clinically insane. We started sending teams in about once every two days. The teams were reporting nightmarish experiences, sightings of things that ultimately made us conclude that the other dimension was not just another dimension. It was hell, and the creatures we were bringing back, demons. And then Petruger, he went through the portal himself. I, I don't know what he was thinking. It was an unscheduled trip, and he, he just went. And we couldn't stop him. And when he came back, he had changed. He sounded and looked the same, but he just... I, I don't know, he, he was just different. And then he did the unthinkable. He took the soul cube, the device that was discovered in the ruins, into the portal. The portal stabilizers just started to fail. And, and then, living hell erupted into the base. Oh, we were stupid for not destroying the portals as soon as we realized what was on the other side. Oh God, forgive me. I blame myself for my part in this. Please, someone, never let this happen again. Ah, I'm sorry, Ian McCormick. Cool. I think I'm gonna need this, so yeah. Let's go see if I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Yeah. I actually needed that this time. Cool. Three, two, one, let's go. Systems activated. Teleportation is Ah, that's some Silent Hill shit right there, ain't it? Alright, I made it back. Okay, I guess I don't need that. Oh. <laughs> you could have given me the key, you dope. No. I wasn't sure what that was, and I don't want to play. Ow, 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 ow. 
jerk. I think I ran into the fire and that's where I initially took damage. I thought about lobbing grenades around the corner. You're <clears throat> cool, I guess. Flashlight wouldn't work there for a minute while he was laughing. Erickson. Alright, give me your Corbin Hughes. What'd he say about the... Shipping received one of those dumb Martian buddy storage cabinets again, but no one here can figure out how to open it. Ah, oh, it's an arc file. That makes sense. Uh, where was that ammo at? It was right there. Alright, if he's still standing there, you're about to get a face full of rocket. Of course not. <laughs> 